up that, you know, which is interesting to discuss, but that's not what I was trying to talk about. My point was, gotcha. yes, you have the right, but should we should everyone have the right to carry an Uzi or, you know, uh, you know, Hell you, no. you know, that's right. It's what I'm saying. So that's all I would say. Hell no, man. I mean, could you imagine some of these blog talk radio nutcases going around having a freaking fully automatic freaking Uzi? Come on. Yeah, exactly. So that was my that was my only point, and he turns it into this whole other I don't know what the hell he did. He always does that though. All right, so we're back. Um, I'll unmute you guys in just a second. I just wanted to say about uh, the Jew. Apparently, he just left the show um, because he said that I was a pig, and and I don't know. He didn't like me anymore, or whatever. Uh, which is fine. Uh, the interesting thing about that is, is that he doesn't understand that he has no grace, he has no finesse, and he has no tact. He just doesn't have any of those things. And I am happy to hear what the Jew has to say because I, I find the things that he says to be interesting and uh, intellectually stimulating most of the time. But this is the first time he's actually come on my show and um, sort of, uh, you know, been an asshole. And so I'm not sure what you, it's up your ass tonight, Do I'm sure it's not a dick because otherwise you'd be happier. But whatever's up your ass tonight, um, you know, get it out and take a breath and, you know, be a good little boy, go to sleep, and uh, you'll be okay. But I do find you to be quite insecure, Jew, wherever you are, and I'm sure you're still listening because that's how you are. So I just wanted to say those things and um, wanted people to know that um, I find um, – you can actually have a conversation with me as long as you're you're polite about it. So, all right. So, uh, uh, Constantine and I have Bill back on the phone. Feel free to speak if you guys want to speak now. I posted a link. So anyway, <laughs> that was uh, one of the the biggest troll, one of the biggest trolls on VTR, and um, that we will. One of the other ones is Nature Boy, and I scoured and scoured trying to find more um, clips of him. Because most of the most of the um, shows that he appeared on were early on on my BTR um, history, and he does this uh, Ric Flair the wrestler impression. Um, he's well known for it, and he does a really good job. He's entertaining and funny, but he also could be a fucking asshole. And when I first met the Nature Boy years ago, he was not the most hospitable individual to me, and. Um, since then, the person who actually played the Nature Boy, um, I think we've now come to a mutual uh, understanding or respect for each other. So it's different now. But um, he still can be a bit, somewhat of a troll, and he goes on his little bipolar rant occasionally. He could be nice one day, and the next day be a complete asshole. So sometimes he can troll your show and be really rude, and sometimes he can be really nice. So just depends. But anyway, uh, this is uh, Vince in the Bay, who also used to call my show often. Who I actually liked a lot uh, in the early days as well, um, and he and I are talking about the Nature Boy and some other issues. But we have Nature Boy unmuted on the um, on the uh, switchboard. I, ha I have him unmuted on the switchboard, and so Vince and I are just talking. And, and Vince thinks there's no way that the Nature Boy can stay silent the entire time while he has the the open mic. So let's see what happens. Hearing Nature Boy's voice, I was just kind of like, okay, uh, here's it may, Boy. maybe it's plausible, but but then you know what? I was running the switchboard tonight because like I was I was able to listen to the show off and on and yeah. and monitor the switchboard, but I couldn't. I didn't, was wasn't able to call in for an extended period of time, so I just on a whim just said, hey, I wonder if the Jew wants to just do my show. Yeah, and uh, and he was he was down, so uh, I was just like. What the hell? So I was popping in and out, but I was on the switchboard when when uh, PD of LA and uh, Nature Boy were both on at the same time, mm -hmm. and I had them both unmuted at the same time. And for the first few minutes of them both being unmuted at the same time, mm -hmm. only one of them was talking at a time. So so I was even just like, mm -hmm. what's going on here? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I didn't listen. For for extended periods, so I don't know if if uh, they ever spoke at the same time, but they were definitely called in at the same time and unmuted at the same time. So there, you know, if they were going to talk over each other, that was going to be the time it was going to happen. Well, we've got Nature Boy waiting right now. Nature Boy, I know you're oh, listening. Oh crap! 
God and damn it. I'm, I'm sure. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I, I know. I'm sorry these people lose oh, he, comes to, he calls me every night. I just never answer his call, no, but I, I will now because we're talking about him. Um, but PD, uh, call in, PD, so I can hear you both at the same time before I bring Nature Boy on. I want you to call in so I know yeah. you. Uh, we only have like six minutes left, so hurry. What's that? I said that's a good idea. You got one of them now. Might as well right. so figure it out in. for yourself. PD, call in. PD, call in. <laughs> PD, I'm waiting. Okay, there you are. PD, I guess that's you. Hold on. Let's see if this is in. Who is this? <laughs> this is PD. This is hey, Mike. Hey, PD, hold on. Is All this right. Nature Boy? Nature Boy, are you going to speak now? See? You actually have the fucking yeah. floor, so speak, Nature Boy. Mm-hmm. He's not going to speak. Then, then it would prove that I'm not him. Mm, He's not going to speak. If you, I wish you would have IM me and like told me to call in so he yeah. couldn't hear you or see you in the chat room that uh that I was calling in and while he would be speaking, I would call in. You just answer my phone call. Damn it, fucker. Well, it's you know boy. what. You know, what? there's still 15 minutes left. There's still plenty of time because you know <laughs> Nature Boy. If Nature Boy is really on the line, I mean, he he could not go 15 minutes unmuted without opening his mouth. I, if that's really Nature Boy, mm-hmm. he, he you keep him unmuted for the entire time, unless he hangs up like a pussy, he's gonna talk because he mm-hmm. he has to. He has. I mean, that's all he does is sit on my show. Like, he sits on my switchboard the entire show. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I put him on for, like, two seconds, and that's it. Yeah. And he just sits there the rest so, of the time. So, Vince. Just wait, just so thinking Vince, that, any, that any, any minute, any minute, I might just go, what do you think, Nature Boy? And I'll say, oh, you know, he's, like, ready. But but what I also like uh-huh. to do is, like, every once in a while, because my, my show is famous for dead air, because <laughs> I always, like, mute my, I forget to unmute myself. So sometimes I will purposely forget to unmute myself and unmute PD, or not PD, um, sorry, PD, unmute uh, Nature Boy. And, uh, and 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 I've done it a couple of times. I've caught them, like, gabbing on me why. What? That was Nature Boy. PD, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm, I'm still here. See, there's something about your voice. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, <laughs> he couldn't wait to to say and scream. But that's one of the trolls, one of the funnier trolls of VTR uh, history that we had to kind of get props to on this show when we're reviewing the past 200 shows. We've got about a minute left in the show, and I just wanted to say a few more things. Um, look, it's been like so much fun. Um, for the most part, being on BTR, because really it's been an opportunity for me to actually um, have a voice just like everybody else who's a host on BTR and actually say whatever the fuck it is they want to say, whether they want to they want to be, um, you know, nice or they want to be an asshole or they want to be someone else, whether they want to be themselves, um, whatever the case is, you know, I think that is fun. And it is somewhat of a dysfunctional family that BTR hosts have become, at least the late night hosts, you know, all of us are sort of together in this weird milieu of personalities and um, this weird sort of conglomerate of, of, of uh, opinions and, and um, just different, different viewpoints. And I think that it creates a great deal of drama sometimes. Sometimes it creates, you know, a lot of fun, a lot of uh, uh, talking or whatever. And I had clips of my friends on BTR, but I didn't play those because it was just us joking around and playing like me and Desert Rose and me and Kelly and me and a million other people, Freddie and, and other people that I had, had friends with on here. There's been many other things I could have talked about, the dramas and crazy shit that's been happening on here as well in the past. Um, but I, there's no time. If I had, I had played every second clip that I, that I could have played that would have been of somewhat of interest to someone listening to the show, it would have taken probably four or five hours. But I wanted to play those because just to exhibit what my show has been about the past two years or past two and a half years and 200 episodes, and that it has been to me um, a way to say, look, you know, my main message has always been this, that bigotry, hatred, um, you know, ignorance, um, and um, racism are 
stupid, basically, and that they really have no place in, in civilized society or in a civilization where you are surrounded by people that are different than you. That applies to BTR online. That applies to real life offline. And we have to learn how to sort of coexist with one another. Now, it doesn't mean you're always going to get along. You're going to like the people that you know, especially me and certain people on TR. Um, and I never have any interest in knowing those people because I don't find them to be of quality or have any sort of redeeming qualities, I mean. So I, I wouldn't want that kind of person in my life or a toxic individual or whatever you want to call it. So, but I am the kind of person, if you listen to my show, you know that when someone comes at me, I come right back at them. I do stand up for myself. I always have, as my mother said earlier on the show. When I, when I was a little kid, I did. And so I'm not someone that you can – walk all over. I am not by any means a doormat. I am not by any means a wallflower, and I am opinionated. I have a million opinions on every single thing you can think to think of. Give me a topic, I'll give you an opinion, okay? So, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud that I speak up when I see injustice. I'm proud when I speak up when I see someone being treated, mistreated, or, or I stand up for race, I stand against racism. I stand up against homophobia. I stand up against uh, or for women's rights. I stand up against hatred in general, and I always have. And I honestly think that it's the reason I'm here. It's the reason I am who I am. I'm not saying I have some God, some some like um, you know Gandhi type mission in life. I'm just saying in my small way and every day in my everyday life, I make changes and make uh, effect change in my own little way. It's with this little show or in my everyday life, and I do stand up for the injustice wherever I see it. Um, having said that, I think, you know, look, you can believe what you want to believe, and if you respect me, I will respect you. It's pretty fucking simple. Now, one last thing before I go, i got to say, look, there I did this comic strip, and it's called The Real Hosts of Blog Talk Radio Late Night, and I did it as a spoof and thought it would be funny because – I think I'm going to do it one week or so and see what you guys think about it. You can go look at the comic strip at offlimitsshow.com slash comics dot php. So it's just offlimitsshow.com slash comics, C-O-M-I-C-S dot P as in Paul, H as in Harry, P as in Paul. So offlimits.com slash comics dot php. And see the first one that I put out, it just kind of sends up some of the hosts, the late-night hosts of BTR and some of the stuff. Really, if you're not someone who watches or listens to the shows, you probably won't always know what they are or about. But this is a new one, not the one that's on the BTR page. This is a different comic. And it's one of myself and Debbie Daly and one of uh, Todd Morris and one of Desert Rose and one of uh, uh, Debbie Daly with her um, with uh, her two black men on her show. Uh, that she loves to control. And then we also have uh, P-Bone and we have Jewish Producer. Not Jewish Producer, I'm sorry, Mr. Midnight Movie. So check it out. It's kind of cute. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed, though, and enjoyed my 200-episode review. I know it was a lot, but I appreciate those of you who listened. Apocalypse, who called me a coward. David, Desert Rose, Ebony Empress, Jewish Producer, Stabbing the Cogs, Web Guy, and the guest, and everybody else who was here earlier. I really appreciate it. And Jewish Producer, there will be more comics coming, but not the air. I know, but I'm just letting you know. More comics coming. So have a good night. Thank you, guys, and I'll talk to you um, on the next show. Good night.